This is how you can make an anti-bot system for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting a source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by getting a god tier on Discord or a super god tier on YouTube. You can also get any of these three bot packages. They are fully coded Discord bots that have a specific functionality. If you're interested in any of this, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with it, and let's go ahead and get into the code. So we're going to start off by creating our schema. So we're going to go to schemas and we can go ahead and create antibot schema.js and here we're going to go ahead and make our antibot and all we have to do is make a guild string and we can just save that just like this so go ahead and copy this down if you don't have mongodb set up go ahead and watch the guide in the description below for that so after we do that we can actually go over to moderation and we're going to go ahead and create antibot.js in here we're going to do const and we're going to get our slash command builder we can get our embed builder and we can get our permissions bit field and then we can do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get discord .js just like that. Next, we're going to go ahead and do cons bot equals require, and we can do dot dot slash dot dot slash schemas, and we're going to go ahead and get our anti bot schema. Next, we can go ahead and do module.exports, and we're going to go ahead and open this up. We can get our data, which is going to be our new slash command builder. We're going to go ahead and set a name, which is going to be anti bot, and we can go ahead and set a description here. This is going to be redundant, so we can just say anti bot. Then we can go ahead and add a sub command. We're going to do command arrow function command as set name. This is going to be our enable, and we can go ahead and set a description and we can go ahead and say prohibit bots from joining the server and then we can add one more sub command so we can do add sub command we can do command arrow function command asset name this is going to be our disable and we can go ahead and set a description we can say disable the anti-bot system for this server then we can add a comma and we're going to do async executes we can go ahead and get our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up the first thing is we're going to go ahead and get our options and we can set that equal to our interaction we can do const sub equals options that get sub command then after we do that we can do const data equals await bot dot find one and that is going to be our guild which can be our interaction dot guild dot id next we're going to go ahead and say if no interaction dot member dot permission that has then we can go ahead and get our permissions bit field that flags that administrator we're going to go ahead and return wait interaction or apply we can get our contents and we can say you don't have perms to use this and we're going to go ahead and set infermal to true on that just like that next we're going to go ahead and switch to our sub command so we can do switch we can get sub and we can open this up we're going to get case which is going to be enable and then in here we're going to start by saying if data we can open this up and we're just going to go ahead and return await interaction or apply we can say content and i'm just going to go ahead and get an emoji and in here we're going to go ahead and say you already have this system set up we're also going to go ahead and say infirmal to true next we're going to go ahead and say else right after this and we can go ahead and do await bot.create we can go ahead and get our guild which is going to be our interaction.guild.id following that we're going to go ahead and and make an embed so we're actually going to go under this permission statement and we're going to go ahead and do const embed equals new embed builder and i'm going to go ahead and set a color and i'm going to go ahead and make that to blurple and then we're going to go ahead and edit our embed in here so we can do embed set description and we can go ahead and get an emoji and then we can go ahead and say bots are now prohibited from joining the server and then we can bold this and say all current bots will be kicked within the next 10 seconds to reverse this use the slash anti bot disable command all right so after we make that change and we write that embed in we can go ahead and send this so we can do await interaction to apply and we're going to go ahead and get our embeds and get our embed and i'm also going to go ahead and set infirmal to true next we're going to go ahead and use the disable sub command so we can go ahead and create that so we can actually come down here and i'm going to go ahead and do break and we can do case which is going to be disable within this we're going to say if no data we can open this up i'm going to go ahead and return await interaction to apply and we can say contents and i'm going to go ahead and get another emoji and we can just go ahead and say looks like this system has not been set up here yet and i'm going to go ahead and set infermal to true on that next we're going to go ahead and say else and we can go ahead and do await bot.delete one which is going to be our guild as interaction.guild.id then we can do embed.set description and i'm going to go ahead and get that same globe emoji from before and we can go ahead and say bots can now join and remain in this server just like that finally all we have to do is send this we can do await interaction or apply we can get our embeds which is going to be our embed and we're going to set that to infermal just like that all right so after we do that we are all set and good to go for our command to enable and disable this so now let's go ahead and move on to step one of handling this so to handle this 
what we have to do is we're going to go over to events and we can go ahead and create anti-bot.js and in here we're going to go ahead and do module.exports and we can go ahead and open this up this is going to be our name which is going to be our guild member add then we can add a comma and we're going to do async executes we can actually get our member and our clients and then we can open that up so above this we actually have to get our schema so we can do const bot equals require we're going to do dot dot slash schemas and we can get our schema just like that so now that we have all that information we're going to get our data so we can do const data equals await bot.find1 that is going to be our guild which we can just do as member.guild.id then we can go ahead and say if no data then we can just go ahead and return and then we can say else and then within this we're going to use a logical statement again so you can say if member.user.bot and we can do member.id is not equal to our client.user.id then we can go ahead and return await member.kick and we can go ahead and get our reason, which is going to be our anti-bot system, just like that. Then we can go ahead and finish this off by saying else return as well, just to finalize that logic statement. All right, so what we're doing here is basically we're checking to see if we have data for that guild, meaning the guild does not want any bots to remain in the server. And if we do, then we go ahead and check to see if the member is a bot and if they are not equal to the bot that's running this, because obviously we don't want to kick the own bot that's actually managing this whole system and then if all that's true then we just kick it and return so now we can go ahead and do this exact same thing within a interval so that if there are still bots in the server it's going to go ahead and kick them um, and we can just go ahead and repeat this interval over and over again so if somehow a bot gets into the server we can just go ahead and remove them so we can go ahead and go into our ready.js and we can just go at the top it doesn't really matter and we're going to go ahead and say anti-bot so we just know what we're talking about in the future and we can do set interval and we can go ahead and do async function and we can go ahead and open this up we're going to do const data equals await bot.find just like that and we can go ahead and do await data dot for each and we can do async guild and we can open this up we're going to say const g equals await client dot guilds dot cash dot git and that's going to be our guild dot capital guild and just like that then we're going to do var members equals await g dot members dot fetch and just like that so we're basically filtering our guild and then we're filtering down to the individual members and now we have to for each of those members to check to see if they're bots so we can do await members dot for each and we can go ahead and do async member and we can open that up and then we can do if and we're going to do the same logical statement we did before so we can actually go ahead and copy that so we can go back over to events and we're going to be doing this exact same statement right here it's going to be if the member is a bot and if they're not equal to the bot that's running this then we just kick them and we can say else return so now that we've done that all we have to do is finish off our interval so we're going to come in here and i'm just going to do 10 seconds so it's going to be 10,000 milliseconds and you can make it repeat longer or shorter uh, that's just up to you um, but really this code will only run once because once they're gone they can't really join back so it's just good to have um, but you don't really need it but we'll just have it in anyways because it is part of the system all right so with that we are actually done with this entire system so we can go ahead and save the file restart the bot and test this out all right so over in the discord server we can actually go ahead and test this out as you can see i have two bots within the server and three if you count the bot that we're going to be using so to start we're going to go ahead and get our anti-bot and we have enable and disable so let's just go ahead and enable it now i want you to watch right here as i run the command i'll zoom in and you'll be able to see as soon as we run the command as you can see the bots are going to be kicked so we run the command and then 10 seconds later the bots are gone so that is how it works we enable the system and then 10 seconds later the bots will be actually kicked from the guild every bot except for the bot that ran that command now that the bots are gone no matter what we do if we try to add one back as you can see here we can go ahead and add automate back to the server and we can go ahead and authorize and we can go ahead and actually go over to the server right here as you can see it actually shows that it added it to the server and it looks like it should be here but it's actually not so we can actually go into our audit log and right here as you can see when we first enabled the command it went ahead and kicked both automate and esky as soon as i added automate back to the server it actually went ahead and kicked automate so it's pretty much instantaneous no matter what i try to do i will not be able to add the bot to the server 
when we have this system enabled. It might be a good idea to make a whitelist subcommand within this if you would like to so that you can whitelist a specific bot so that a server can allow a specific bot to join the server. That might make it a little bit more user friendly. Um, but that is just the basic anti-bot system logic and command. So the last thing we're going to go in and do is we can do anti-bot disable. We can go ahead and run that. And now if we go ahead and attempt to add a bot back to the server, we can continue using automate for this. We can do with public updates. We can go ahead and authorize here and we can just go right back over to that server. As you can see, automate is now in the server and we should be able to run our bot commands with automate just as we normally would be able to. All right, so that's how you can make an advanced anti-bot system for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here. We'll be happy to help you out. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.